Uh, this is John Fiala from Cape Sim, and I'm just showing you some of the features of the Simic uh, graphical user interface. So this shows the thermal uh, solution for uh, transient analysis on a, a single FET. So this is a half of a FET, um, and this is the temperature profile. If I slice this, um, you'll be, have a better view of the temperatures in the middle. And it's actually going to slice this at each time point. So you're having a solution through time um, that it's solving. And let me zoom in here. go back to time zero. So I'm going back, I'm starting from a cold device and then as I input, uh, turn it on, basically the devices come on and they heat up and you can see they get hot near the edge of the gates um, and then the power shuts off. So I, I had did a simulation with power coming on and off in a kind of duty cycle um, and you can see it comes on and then shuts off. So basically if I look at a max plot, which shows you the maximum temperatures uh, throughout this whole 3D model. Uh, you can also watch this in time. So again, I'll go back to time zero, and you can see as I go forward in time, uh, here I am at uh, 22 microseconds near the end of the uh, device, and then the device shuts off at 25 microseconds, and quickly the temperatures drop in the channel, but there's still some residual temperatures in the substrate that slowly dissipate, and then when the device comes on again, it quickly heats up again in the channel. So you can easily get this type of transient analysis in SIMIC. So I'm John Fiala with Cape Sim, and I'm going to show you an example here of using the SIMIC thermal analysis tool with AWR's microwave office. So I've opened a project here uh, of a distributed amplifier design with four FETs. Um, and what you would do, and uh, this is described in the design notes in the example, is you would actually export this um, uh, device to SIMIC, and you would create the model in SIMIC and then do your thermal analysis in SIMIC, which I just show here already solved. Um, and then what you can do is you can actually run, export this uh, thermal model as a scripted equation into back into Microwave Office. So if I go in here and look at the, um, the circuit, for the model, um, I can just put the temperatures of each of the uh, transistors in an array here. So I have the temperature array as an equation in my schematic. Um, and then what I can do is actually use this information that I've extracted from the SIMIC thermal analysis to continually run the electrical simulation, get the powers out, um, the dissipated powers on, on each of the FETs, and then um, use that thermal uh, equation to generate the new temperatures and then put those back into the um, circuits and then run those again. So I'll just run that script. And as it runs, you can see it's updating the temperatures on all the devices. So it iterates for several times running electrical and then updating the thermal through the equation and you can see it gets a um, brand new set of temperatures here at the end uh, and it also implies that there are new power levels on all the devices so by using the thermal combined with the electrical we actually get much more accuracy of both um, temperature and uh, dissipated power.